LNS Loading Bay. Lead Baron Stainrod is an elderly London company, the custodians of the Empire's first... Supernal? I don't know what that is. Supernal Nature Reserve. To find work with them, head for Capabilities Cabins. If you'd rather enjoy the reserve, seek the gateway of Albert's Idol. Idol. Port report. The Lead Baron Stainrod Nature Reserve is a national park maintained at great expense by the company. Scores of researchers come here to study the nature of the reach. Many visitors come here too for a pleasant holiday. This concrete bay is for loading and unloading locomotives. It disappoints tourists who expect to arrive at a scenic waterside. It mainly caters for the workers of the Lead Baron Stainrod Company who come to collect goods from the laboratories here. Cable cars link to the main reserve below in the scientific base at Capabilities Inquest. That sounds like a really cool place. I'm fascinated to check it out. Converse with your fellow captains. What brings them out this way? For a few, it's the work provided by Leadbetter and Stainrod. For the rest, the reason is the same. They're drawn by the beauty of the reserve. Some are here with tourists from across the Empire. Others are here to give their crews a respite. Others are simply passing by and couldn't resist stopping in. <laughs> I feel like this is a joke. Simply passing by and couldn't resist stopping in, quite literally because they were sucked into it? Let's speak with a watcher by the station. He stares at your crew as they disembark your engine. He turns away when none emerge holding anything. He is clearly agitated. Sorry, the man apologizes. I didn't mean to stare. It's just we've been waiting for a delivery from London. Really important supplies. I don't suppose you might be heading anywhere near the relay to Albion, would you? If you could check if anything's happened to it, we'd really appreciate it. Albion Transit Relay lies to the west-southwest of New Winchester, near Port Prosper. Right, well, I haven't found either of those things. Let's check out the bazaar and whatever else they sell here. Oh, of course, Dr. Nectar. I feel like everybody sells that. I've been getting so much of this stuff, I don't really feel any need to buy it. To store it for later, so I'm just going to leave that. Oh, they sell verdant seeds here. More expensive than normal, of course. Or actually... No, this is normal price. I'm starting to think of when you find them at the, at the bazaar, that's the normal price. But that's not. That's the discounted price. Let's check out Capabilities Inquest. A clump of cabins used by LNS's researchers as they plumb and catalog the secrets of the reserve. Enterprising captains may find work for the company here. Base of research. The researchers of the reserve have a number of laboratories scattered among the tourists' cabins. From here, they study the mysteries of the Reach. Read the request to all park goers. A researcher of the reserve has pinned up a call for aid. We want to study the powerful force, forces of nature at work in the Reach so that we may improve the life of all citizens of the Empire. If you are an intrepid sort and willing to aid our earnest efforts, we are offering a reward for the following. <laughs> Good idea to put that in all caps. I see you're interested. The phlegmatic researcher has wheeled up behind you. His left leg is raised, perhaps reduced the very obvious swelling. The keys to understanding the remarkable principles of growth and cultivation are waiting here. We just need suitable specimens. If you aid our research, I'll ensure you're properly remunerated. The phlegmatic researchers list. They're studying the mysteries of the Reach. What can you bring to aid them? He needs one of the following requests. Of course, he's happy to reward you if you bring back more. Okay, want the wings of course to be. Wants ants. Where do I find ants? Want hybris. Hybris pus. Ew. Okay. Well, the wings of a chorister bee should be pretty easy, I guess. Ah, there's little descriptions. 
for each one of the items, so they want the wings of a chorus to be to determine the cause of their melody. What is it that makes them sing when their smaller sisters only buzz? Ants, newly introduced to humankind. We receive curious reports from certain homesteads about the behavior of ants. Given the reports of the ants circling those soon to die, we consider the creatures apt for study. Ants circling <laughs> around people who are about to die? Also talks about reports from certain homesteads, so maybe I'll get a chance to get ants when I find homesteads. And Hybris Pus. The weeping sores of Hybris may yield deeper insight into the Verdant Reach. It may hold properties either beneficial or detrimental to the human frame we intend to find out. Inquire into the Phlegmatic Research's current course of study. Currently I'm making a study of the orderliness of the Reach. It may be untamed, but a firm logic has guided its growth. I wish to better understand this principle. Let's go to Albert's Idol. The LNS Nature Reserve is an immense untrodden hinterland of the Reach's unreasonably fecund flora and fauna. It's popular with London's more outdoorsy tourists. Let's go into the reserve. The park is filled with birds and flowers, trees and woodland creatures, streams and bumbling insects, and other insidious dangers. Arrange for a guide. Oh, actually, there's a little bit more up here. Visitors are not allowed to venture too deeply into the reserve without an escort. Yeah, so let's arrange for a guide then. Tour guides are essential in this place. Park guests are forbidden. Yep. The only person available to help you is a romantic ornithologist. He is lean and plainly dressed with a long, wiry beard. The other researchers introduce you. Did you know our colleague here, when indicates the ornithologist, is looking for the mythical bird whose beak peck peck pecks away at the mountain of eternity? They stifle giggles. The ornithologist maintains his smile and gestures towards the forest path. I'll be glad to show you the reserve. I hope you'll join me later. You can often find me at the watchtower. Let's take a quick trip into the reserve. The romantic ornithologist clasps his hands with quiet delight when he sees you. I found a most wonderful place. Shall we? You delve into the reserve together. The birds sing around you. The flowers offer sweet perfumes. A pleasing breeze tumbles through a glade and whistles around a mountain's bend. Two sky stories. Ah, I see, so if I want to go back into the reserve, I have to go without a guide. I guess I want to prevent you from just, like, farming sky stories. What does happen if we go alone? A brief wander. There are reasons why tour guides are considered essential here. The reserve is not for the faint-hearted. Most visitors will soon find themselves desperately lost. You're fortunate in that, while you spend a while exploring to find only nothing, you are still able to return to safety. You must wait till a guide is available if you wish to find anything. Let's visit the ornithologist. When he's not hiking through the wilderness or camping beneath the bow of one of the great trees, he is sat alone in his watchtower, watching for his bird. He nods hello as you enter. Welcome. Tea? Let's ask about the bird. He's researching a mythical bird. What is it and why? There are other birds I could study, of course, he says, shrugging. But that's not the point. We had thought this bird a myth. The bird who wears away at the mother of mountains pebble by pebble. But miners have seen it. The heavens are home to improbable things. Oh, so the other people that introduced me to the ornithologist was joking about that. I guess they find the whole thing just a joke, a myth or something. The bird. Let's ask about the reserve. How does he find the wilderness? He smiles like a child. It is my home, he says. My church. Ask about his fellow researchers. 
Is he on good terms with the other scientists? The ornithologist tilts his head from side to side. I get on better alone. It's not that I don't enjoy company, but he scratches his beard. I think it's a difference in philosophy. They want to conquer nature and her secrets. I want to be her confidant. I think that's all I can do here right now, right? Like, at the bay, you can chat with the fellow captains and all that stuff. Already done. Inquest is for all the research. Already got the research going. Just need to actually get the things. Done all the reserve stuff. So I'm still looking for the well, and given that this is somewhere where the incautious driver used to work, didn't they? Yeah, they did work here. So this is probably close to the well. It's supposed to be north, northeast, so... Yeah, I'd probably just go up maybe this way. Start looking up here. Let's do it. I also want to check out this diamond over here. The scent of mulch and wet leaves fills your engine as new growths sprout in your pantry. The peacock wind bringing change. Ah, supplies. Yeah, let's go up here. Looks like there's a lot of different ways that shoot out of here. There, 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 there. I wonder what's so specific about the wind here and this arch here. Why does it do that? I'm actually gonna go up here. I'm trying to go a bit east to find the well. saw a ship. I have no idea if it's friendly. It's like bluish. Yeah, that's probably, that can't be the well. That's like straight north. Yeah, are you an enemy? You got a big gun on that thing. Enduring Dreadnought. HML Thomas Bomber. Pretty sure they would have saw me, so I think they're friendly. Which is good, because I don't want to mess with that, that ship. It looks massive. Oh, oh, you... Yep, Starman Explorer. Hey, they're back. Are they coming to help me or what? Oh shit, there's another wind. Loot the hold. A distressingly odored barrel. No one is keen to get close. An uncanny specimen. You pry the lid off. Dear God, what the blazes? Your navigator pokes the thing inside with a big stick until assured that it's dead. <laughs> yeah, it almost seemed like the other ship was coming back to help me, but I guess they just, just wanted to watch. Thanks. The peacock wind delivers its bounty. Your supplies burst into new, sickly sweet growth. But some of them also wail as they go into the pot. What the hell? Okay, so this thing that, this wind that keeps showing up is the peacock wind. And apparently it, like, gives life or something? Oh, right, terror. Hyacinths, Hyacinths rest. Could that question mark up the up there be the well? Yeah, that definitely could actually. Hey, <laughs> keep on trying. Oh wow, they can't make any progress. What about me? 
Does it get stronger here, or is our ship just weaker than mine? I guess their ship is just weaker. I'm knowing- I know I'm getting tons of terror, but... I wanna know what's up here. And I think it might lead to the well. Look at how far you gotta get up here to go around and get behind Titania. I think I'm close to through it. Yes. Oh. Well, at least I'm gonna have an easy time getting... Whoa, shit. At least I'm gonna have an easy time getting back. another thing over here. Oh. Oh shit. Hmm. Oh, that is not the way I meant to turn. Shit. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Get back in the wind, now. Well. The hole cracks, the sky pours in. Shit! The cold takes you. I, no, it definitely still has not been long enough for Zoom from last autosave. I assume that's when I... Probably docked at the reserve? Yes. Okay. We're fine. This time I'm gonna try going up through here instead of through here. Maybe that will avoid the wind, then once I reach the top I can go east again. Oh, wait a minute, there's an arch here. Oh, you know what I bet it is? I bet the wind comes from like all places around here, in leading to the reserve. The reserve is at the focal point of all the peacock winds. What do you bet? Oh, wait, that... Oh, crap, that just joins over to this one again. Okay, well... Doing this again. <laughs> wait a second. Something new here. Phew. Oh, hi. Well, I finally got to use my drill. What did I get? A bronze wood. Okay, that's nothing amazing, but I mean, actually, I guess a bronze wood, when I used it for a prospect, sold it for a prospect, I think each one was worth 270 something. So it is actually quite a bit, potentially, if I sell it for a prospect. <laughs> yeah, just bash your face into there. You know what? I'm actually going to try to gain a hole. Let's scavenge for parts. And we're back up to max. You exhort your crew to get over their damned superstitions and start stripping the explorer. They begin dutifully and gingerly, but soon begin to treat the explorer as the icon of all that they fear. Star madness. The thunder of guns. A wild death in the empty sky. They rip out plating and spare parts with frenzied glee. I just leveled up. Should I spend that now, or should I see if I survive this and then spend it if I do? <laughs> Let's do that. 
Yeah, so there's no wind here this time. So the peacock winds do shift and disappear and reappear. Ooh, another one. Ah, I'm holding too much. Well, the bronze wood's worth more than the nectar. But also, all of those are worth way more than things like fuel and supplies. Especially fuel. Then again, I'm about to... I'm about to... I'm like right about to use another unit of fuel. Let's ditch one, though. They're cheap. They're 10 sovereigns each. Or, no, wait, they're 20 sovereigns each. I hear bees and stuff again. I know there's lips over there, but it's obviously just a beehive. I don't have room for that. Fuck! Okay, the bees are kind of leaving me alone, so let's see if we can deal with this. Yes, didn't even take any damage. By the way, if you heard music for a second there in the background, that was my timer on my phone. I'm baking something in the oven. Loot the hold. Clasped jewelry box. Is it another weird specimen? No, just 25 sovereigns. A twinkle of gold upon a, ved a bed of velvet. A piece of worn jewelry. A name is inscribed on it. Too faded now to read. See if I can finally make my way back there. I'm not sure if turning off my light helped me avoid them. Almost hit him. Oh, come on, they got like one hit point left. Ah. I think if I'm hurt at all, I'm always going to go for gaining whole, given how quickly I die, I've noticed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what is this gorgeous place? Oh, it's not even like a thing on the map, it just... It's gorgeous though, it looks like a temple. That sound is not gorgeous though, it sounds like approaching bees. Oh, and that's a horror over there. I hope that's not the well. It could be. Found that? That can't be the well. Okay, let's go towards the horror. Sure. Hmm, it's emanating red. Sigils glow on these runes, lambent in the mist. 
Horrors. You find a horse, one of the more disturbing landmarks in the high wilderness. Yes. Tickler's Haunt. Sounds like people have gone star mad. Oh. A touch of the skies. Oh, I think we've seen this one before. Um. No? No, this is different. Skyfarers exposed to the haunting light of the stars are prone to sudden obsessions and erratic behavior. One of your engineers has taken an oath of utter silence. He refuses to speak or make any sound at all. He has gagged himself and wrapped rags around his feet to muffle his footsteps. He refuses to employ either wrench or hammer. He is not... I didn't actually mean to click. I don't know what I clicked. He is not, as it stands, much use. What did I just do? You harry the mech to work with a carefully stewed mixture of encouragement and chastisement, but their obsessions only continue to consume them. They make mistakes, some of which are dangerous, and their persistent oddness unsettles the crew. Gain terror, lost whole. Okay. Are you an enemy? You are. Damn, they died fast. Once again, scavenge for parts, yeah. I know that's probably a waste, but like, man, I really don't want to keep dying. Still here shooting, though. Probably more of them. Oh, they're just shooting bees. Shall I join the fray? So close. You are an enemy, right? They got like red lights, I'm pretty sure, but they're really bad at aiming and moving around weirdly. Weirdly. There were Star Maddened Explorer. <clears throat> yeah, that's definitely an enemy. Let's loot the hold, gain random treasures. Weirdly odored barrel. A fuel. The lid is gingerly removed. All breathe a sigh of relief when Coke is revealed black and precious. The captain's truest friend. Alright, all the horrible noises have stopped, so we are free to become terrified by what's here. Chorister Corpse. Oh, right, I need a pristine pair of wings for the research. Let's do that. A crewman is sent out to sift through their corpses. Sometime later, he returns with a single pair of wings. Your assault did not perforate or shatter. Okay. Yeah, is my terror doesn't seem to be going up horribly right now. Do I have to be near the red light? Or was it caused by all the, like, partially caused by all the enemies around here? Seems like the place has been... made better. I wonder what the runes mean. Sigils glow on these runes. Lambent in the mist. Yeah, that's where the red's coming from. Hmm. Do I push my luck and keep going? Yes, I do. Not super low in supplies. My hole's almost 100%. Look at this. Just like a... A ball of something. Oh, something is coming after me. It's like a ball of something covered in vines. Not like a ball, just like a round island, I guess. 
Anyway, what's coming after me? Okay, seems to be... Oh, oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Mm-mm. Scribe spinster. I don't think I want to fight that. It's still coming after me. Come on, go after the other one. Damn you. Do I try to fight it? Discontent. Ooh, 62% terror. Um. Yeah, we've seen this one before. A frozen corpse spinning past a window. Jettison some supplies. Reprimand him. Double back for the corpse and loot it. Transport it for burial. Oh, right. I did this one before. Made my terror nice and low, but gave me a nightmare. I don't want to make my nightmares worse. I can double back for the corpse and loot it. That would probably gain terror. Yeah, let's keep the crew happy. I'll jettison some supplies as an offering. Maybe that'll make terror go down. It did. Whew. The rations spin away into the stellar mists. You will mourn the biscuits. Some of them had chocolate on. <laughs> what about those scones? Do we still have those, like, 20 kilograms of scones? Come on, get another shot in. Yes, turn around. Damn it. Walked right into that. Damn, that thing takes a lot of hits. Oh, hey, at least the other ship exploded. This corner is working out pretty well for me. Damn, they really do take a lot of hits. Also, my terror is so fucking high, I need to leave soon. They are making... they have, like, things coming off of them. That's a good sign. Yes! Drive spinster defeated. The splintered remains of the spinster turn slowly. The skies are full of fluttering paper. It is as if someone brought confetti to a funeral. Yeah, I noticed when they shot those things at me, I thought I saw paper flying out where they exploded. Send it out with axes. Didn't I need something from it? Gain experience. Oh, a trophy. Yeah, let's get the trophy. This is experience. This probably gives me a chance of getting bronze wood. This is more special. Crew said about the creature with hacksaws while the quartermaster repairs a board. Uh, oh, it's the same description as the last one. Okay. Don't want to keep going this way. My terror is 67%. No, that's pushing my luck too much. I'm heading back. Ah, right, I forgot to loot the Marauder, or whatever that was that blew up. Scavenge for parts. There might not be much point in that, because I'm... Oh, right. I'm going to dock at the, the Nature Reserve place, but I forgot that you can't actually repair the hole there. So yes, this does have a point. Almost maxed. The thing on the mantelpiece. You are in possession of a certain otherworldly artifact. It has begun to appear persistently in your dreams. Never prominent but always present. 
sat innocuously on a mantelpiece, half hidden in a shadowed corner, carried casually by a loved one. Oh, that is creepy. Tolerate it, smash it, offer it to something, burn it. Uh, this will cost fuel, but your tear will not increase. That's tempting. Offer it to the Waste Wife. The wife is one of the gods the Skyfarers pray to. It takes an interest in outcasts and the lost, and tends wins as a shepherd tends sheep. 50% chance. Tolerate it, your terror will increase. Ah, I'd smash it, that's the... I guess when you get a lot of these terror events, you can do something to reduce your terror by 50, but it always increases your nightmares. No, let's burn it. You stoke the fire pit to a roaring blaze and cast the artifact inside. The flames leap. That night, your dreams are your own. Nothing intrudes on them except your own familiar fears and fancies. Back at the nature reserve, let's hand in the wings of a chorister bee. You are thanked for your efforts and asked to wait while the company sorts out your rewards. It might be a couple of days. Later, the phlegmatic researcher calls upon you. He hands you the envelope of sovereigns. Hideous creatures, choristers, he says, fidgeting in his chair. But I cannot accept that it is only by chance their wings are so exquisitely articulated that they generate song. So I'm helping the phlegmatic researcher, progressing their studies. I wonder what happens when they get all the way. And 100 experience and 300 sovereigns, which is pretty good. Look at the concentration of treasures and things that are up here. It seems so much higher than other places. I wonder why. Maybe because it's a nature reserve? This whole area is just brimming with life and brimming with things? I don't know. Uh, anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'm really not sure what I'm going to do when I get back. There's a lot of different options, but I think the first thing I'll do is head back to New Winchester and repair my hole and store some things in the bank, because right now I've got lots of little things in my hold and not much room for anything else. 